In Search of the Wow Wow Wibble Woggle Wazzy Woodle Woo was definitely a collaboration. Um, I'd been performing the music for a couple of years and had generated a lot of interest in my performances. Stand up and do the wow wow wibble wobble. We were actually interested in creating some kind of promotional piece that we could use to sell the live show. Along comes Barry. Uh, he came and saw what I was doing. He said, whoa, you gotta do, you gotta do something more than that. You've got to capture this as a as a piece of art. And I listened to the album uh, In Search of the Wow Wow Wibble Woggle Wazzy Woodle Woo. And uh, you can say it. Yeah, but I realized that when I listened to it, I thought, well, this is a soundtrack. I mean, it's the soundtrack to whatever we do is already done. So I thought, let's just write something around this record. And uh, we did. That's what we started out doing. Mm -hmm. The set designer that we worked with is Rollin Thomas. And um, he was he did something that I thought was quite remarkable. He actually looked at some original drawings that I had done for the, uh, the album. And uh, he, they were pen and ink drawings. And he said, well, there's your set right there. It's, uh, it should be like a uh, three-dimensional pen and ink drawing. We'd all talked about monochromatic, um, creating a, a set that, um, that colors would pop out from when co there's costume changes they're really dramatic and when things come out of the wall it, it just creates this, all this excitement. Yeah it set the stage for the imagination so we really had a, a, a visual difference between Tim's normal life which was the monochromatic and when imagination kicked in that's where we had all the colors and all the set pieces and everything that kind of flew in and out so it, it really was a nice backdrop for us. Tim's jumping all over these sets. Those sets were built for that purpose. Every little object that was on the set, uh, it's important to uh, note, had to be painted that color. And there's a lot of little objects that needed that kind of painting. Yeah, everybody, I mean, everybody that was involved with did everything. We did everything on that show from painting to, you know, to, to construction to, I mean, everything. And sometimes having a limited budget or having parameters like that forces, uh, actually forces you to be more creative yeah. and come up with things that, like maybe you, if you had a big budget, you could throw a lot of money at it, but it ne wouldn't necessarily be as cool, you know? Um, I think it worked in our favor. I, I think the message you get out of that is if you really want to do something, I mean, if you, if you really are dead set on a project and, and know that that project should be done, that you can do anything, as, as we say in the song. <laughs> you can do anything. 